Welcome to today's video, where we'll be comparing two common types of paint rollers, the foam roller and the nap roller. Whether you're a DIY enthusiast or a professional painter, choosing the right roller can make a big difference in the quality of your paint job. Now, we'll go over the differences between foam and nap rollers, their pros and cons, and when to use each type. So, let's start the video. Foam Roller Let's start with the foam roller. Foam rollers are made from a dense foam material and are known for their smooth, even coverage. They are best for use with thin, water-based paints such as enamels, stains, and urethanes, as they can easily absorb the paint and distribute it evenly on the surface. One of the biggest advantages of foam rollers is that they leave very little texture or lint behind, resulting in a smooth, polished finish. This makes them ideal for painting walls, doors, and furniture. Additionally, they are easy to clean and can be reused multiple times if they are properly taken care of. Nap Roller Now, let's take a look at nap rollers. Nap rollers are made from a woven material, such as polyester or microfiber, and have a nap or pile that helps hold onto the paint. The length of the nap will vary depending on the type of paint you are using and the surface you're painting. Nap rollers are best for use with thicker paints, such as oil-based or latex as they can hold onto more paint and help you achieve a more heavy-duty coverage. They are also great for textured surfaces, such as rough walls or ceilings, as they can help hide imperfections and produce a more uniform finish. Pros and Cons of Foam Rollers So, what are the pros and cons of using foam rollers? One of the biggest advantages of foam rollers is their smooth finish, as well as the fact that they leave very little texture or lint behind. Additionally, they are easy to clean and can be reused multiple times. However, one of the drawbacks of foam rollers is that they can't hold on to as much paint as nap rollers, making them less ideal for heavy-duty projects. They also tend to shed easily, which can be messy and time-consuming to clean up. Additionally, they are more expensive than nap rollers. Pros and Cons of Nap Rollers Now, let's take a look at the pros and cons of nap rollers. One of the biggest advantages of nap rollers is their ability to hold onto more paint, making them ideal for heavy-duty projects. They are also great for textured surfaces, as they can help hide imperfections and produce a more uniform finish. However, one of the drawbacks of nap rollers is that they can leave a noticeable texture lint behind, which can be more visible on smooth surfaces. Additionally, they are often more difficult to clean and may need to be replaced after a few uses. They can also be more expensive than foam rollers, especially when using high-quality materials. When to use foam rollers? So, when should you use foam rollers? Foam rollers are best for use with thin, water-based paints such as enamels, stains, and urethanes. They are also ideal for painting walls doors, and furniture, as they leave a smooth, polished finish without leaving any texture or lint behind. When to use nap rollers? Nap rollers are best for use with thicker paints, such as old based or latex. They are also ideal for textured surfaces, such as rough walls or ceilings, as they can help hide imperfections and produce a more uniform finish. Additionally, they are great for heavy-duty projects where more paint coverage is required. We hope this video has been helpful in comparing foam and nap rollers, and that it has given you a better understanding of which type to choose for your next painting project. Thank you for watching.